had a good question today in the Articulate Storyline forums regarding this invalid answer message that pops up when learners hit the submit button before they actually you know, answer the question on your slide. And this pop-up is somewhat customizable. Like if you don't like the wording, you can go into your player's text labels and change that. You can also change the color of the box or the color of the button if you want to edit your player colors. But as far as really doing a radical redesign of this message, there's not really a turnkey feature for doing that. But the good news is it's super easy to create your own invalid answer message um, by using a layer and a couple of simple triggers. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's go ahead and close the preview. And right down here in the lower right is where we've got our slide layers. And right now I've got a layer for my incorrect feedback and then another layer for my correct feedback. And I want my invalid answer message to kind of resemble, you know, the same style. So what I did is I went up to the View tab and chose Feedback Master. And this is where I've got my, you know, Feedback Masters that I've already customized. And I wanted my um, invalid answer message to kind of resemble my incorrect feedback message, which looks like this. So I right clicked on that layout and then chose Duplicate Layout. And that gave me this new layout right down here, which you can then customize if you want, but this looks fine. It's got this partially transparent rectangle and a couple placeholders and this red line. So that's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and click close master view and now we can create our new layer. So down here in the layers pane, I'm going to click on new layer. We'll double click and give it a name. We'll call this, how about invalid answer message. And now off to the side of my slide workspace, I can right click and then choose layout. And then I can select that new um, layout that we just made. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And now I can modify it and customize. So we'll call this the title. And then for the text here, we're going to say, uh, you need to select an answer before you click the submit button. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to also add a button here to close the layer so that the learner can go back to um, you know, the question and answer it. So in the trigger panel, we'll say we want to hide this layer when the user clicks. OK, so we're all set. I'm going to go back to my base layer. And now all we need is the trigger that tells Storyline when we want that layer to show up. So in the trigger panel, I'm going to click Create a new trigger. And now we tell Storyline what we want to have happen and when. And what we want to have happen is we want to show a layer. It's called invalid answer message. We want that to happen when the user clicks on the submit button, but only under certain conditions. We only want this to happen if all three of these radio buttons are unmarked, or in other words, if they're in their normal state. Okay, so we need to tell Storyline those conditions. I'm going to click on the show conditions button. That opens up this window, and here's where we can add them. So. We'll click the green arrow or the green plus sign here. And the buttons are shapes, so we'll select shapes. And now we select the ones that we want to base the conditions on. So there's the first button. If that's equal to normal, that's good. We'll add another condition. And if it's the second button is equal to its normal state, that's good. And notice that we're using and here and not or, because we want all three of these conditions to be true in order for that layer to pop up. So there's our third button. And you can see how that red rectangle is really helping me you know, identify the right item that I'm selecting on my slide. So there's our three conditions. We're good to go there. And now we're also going to modify the default trigger that is applied to the submit button. And the reason why is otherwise that, um, that default invalid answer message is going to keep appearing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to choose to add a couple of conditions. So we want to submit the interaction only if one of the three of these buttons here is selected. So we'll click Show Conditions, green plus sign, and here's where we say our condition. So if button one is in its selected state, then that is good for submitting. We'll go ahead and click another condition. And this time we're going to choose OR, because it can be any of those three buttons being selected. OK, so there's the second one, and there's the third one. Again, we choose OR, we identify the button, and we want that to be equal to a selected state. And now we're good. I'm also going to just move this trigger down one notch because we want the custom layer to appear first. We want these triggers to be read in order. And that'll ensure that that happens. So here's our question. We'll hit Submit without answering. And we get our custom message. We'll click OK to go back. And now we can select our answer and then get our feedback. So that's how you can create your own invalid answer message in Storyline.